Hi everybody, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the channel, guys. Thank you for clicking on the link. It's lovely to see you. Happy New Year, guys. This is gonna be my first video. Um, this is a, <laughs> how can I explain it? So I had, I had actually planned to um, put a different type of video in. Uh, it was a presentation about purpose and stuff, but I've had a little bit of difficulty with editing and I thought rather than leaving everything dry and high, I'm going to share this video with you. So, um, yeah, so that's just it basically. So I hope you all had a fantastic break, uh, that you've got great plans and everything for 2022. I know that the COVID is still here, or the COVID, some people call it, or the C word. Call it what you like, it's that nasty, horrible thing. It is still around, but hopefully, um, you know, you're all keeping safe and well, and um, you know, you're looking after yourself the best that you can, okay? So I just thought I'd come on here, like I said, just to say Happy New Year and just to share you this little video. Um, so obviously, originally I made the video, I went straight into it, so it will look a little bit disjointed when from here to there. Um, but notwithstanding, I hope you enjoy it. It's basically it's a chicken recipe. Who doesn't like chicken? Except if you're vegan, of course. Um, so yeah, so... That's it guys, I just thought I would share that. So what, uh, enjoy it, if you've got any questions or any comments, do share um, in the comments below. And uh, do feel free to like and subscribe as always. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, God bless. Hi guys, hello, hello. This is just a quick one I thought I would share with you. So I don't know about you, I eat a lot of chicken. Uh, chicken is one of those things. It has its own flavour, which is very nice. It is actually very nice, even if you only just put salt and pepper on it. But if you want it to be flavoursome, you know we put lots of other different things on it. But this, it is like a canvas. So I have different ways I like to season chicken. So I've got my most basic one, which will be thyme, pepper, curry, um, garlic, with a little bit of chilli. But today I'm going to use some different flavours. So I just thought that I will share it with you. So I always like to make my marinade in a little blitzer like this. So I've got a bit of ginger here, which I have peeled already. So I'm just going to cut that up. I just thought I would share, because what I tend to do is I cook quite a lot of chicken. I leave it in the fridge and we have it through the week. So sometimes, depending on, to this week I've got um, thigh and drumstick. Um, the quarter, the one that works out as um, a quarter of a chicken. So I'm going to actually flavour that. But sometimes if I've got smaller pieces, I'll use my basic flavour and then I'll use it in stews and curries and things dur during the week. So I've got garlic here. I like to use a lot of garlic. And you know, with the ginger as well, because these are anti-inflammatories, so they say. Um, but also they just make the food taste really, really good. So there you go, this there. So I'm going to use about, um, I've got eight, eight of those um, pieces of chicken. So I'm going to use <laughs> what, um, about five cloves of garlic here. Cause look, this one is massive. Okay, so there you go. So I've got myself this little gadget here. <laughs> it actually came along with this garlic press. Let me show you, what is it? So one of these. So you go there, but I'm gonna blitz it up today. But I just thought I would, I would share that with you there, like that. So this one here, apparently you put these in here. I had one of these before. I didn't know what it was for. Didn't know how to use it, but I've sort of discovered that today. So this one, you literally put your hands over it, rub it, and apparently when it comes out, it comes out with the skin off if you've done it enough. So I haven't really done that one enough. When I did it this morning, it was really, really quick. There you go. See, you go like that. You can hear the paper coming off. So there you have it. So I'm going to do this now, and then I'll come back to you with the rest of the seasoning. Okay, so I've done that. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention, <laughs> this is actually quite useful because it stops your hands from smelling like garlic. But also, you, if you don't have one of those, you all know how to peel garlic, but you can flatten it with the edge of your knife, a bigger knife than this one. Okay, so with that being said, so that's it there. 
So I've got here one seasoning cube. So I'm gonna add that because I'm cooking a large amount of chicken there. So I'm just going to squeeze that in. There, like that. So, right, let me sew. So I've got here some chili powder. It's got its own spoon there, but I'm gonna go in with half a tablespoon of chili powder. That's half a tablespoon there. That's half a teaspoon, this is one teaspoon. Yeah, that's what I wanted. One teaspoon. I said tablespoon, I meant teaspoon. So that's one teaspoon of chili going in there. Then I've got here, this here is um, suya spice. So, you know, I'm Nigerian and back home there, we used to have this street food called suya. And it's, it's a bit like a kebab, except it's on a skewer. You know, you put on a skewered meat, it's flavored with these spices. And um, yeah, it's just really nice and smoky. So I'm going in there with two teaspoons of that because that is what I want to be the high note of the flavor. So to add to the smokiness, I've got some smoked paprika here. So I'm going in with one teaspoon of that. And then just to cut through some of that deepness, I'm gonna also go in with some thyme because the other thing as well is I don't cook with a lot of salt. So I've got that seasoning cube in there. Okay, so with that being said, I'm now going to add here I like adding this here. I'm going to add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. You can use um, white wine vinegar, any vinegar basically. So I'm going in there, two lots of that. In fact, one tablespoon, so that'll be three teaspoons. I've got some lemon juice here. Um, if you don't have this one, you can just use the juice of a lemon. So I'm going to go in here with two tablespoons of that. So that's one, two three, four, five, six. And then I've got here some Worcestershire sauce. The other thing that I've forgotten here and I'm gonna get it in a minute is the black pepper because we like to have that. So this is new, and this uh, Worcestershire sauce. So let me just open that quickly. So you can use soy sauce if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of this. I use the seasoning cube, so I'm only using one tablespoon. Then this is just how I make up mine, guys, because I, like I said, I don't cook with a lot of salt. Um, that's the reason why, so I prefer this. There's less salt in this than there is in soy sauce, I believe. Right, okay, all right. So let me get the black pepper. So I'm gonna go in there with two teaspoons of black pepper. Right, that's that. And I'm also going to add, just to um, remove some of the tartness, um, one teaspoon of maple syrup. You could use honey, but because I'm going for the smoky flavor, I'm using the maple syrup there. Okay, and if you were gonna use this on chicken breast, I would suggest you put a couple of tablespoons of oil in there, but I'm using Thai. You know, that's a little bit of a fatter. And then all I'm gonna do now is blitz that up. Blitz that up and that will be my marinade for my chicken. And I can't find the one with the knives in on my days. Right, anyway, I'll find the one with the knives and I'll show you what it looks like after. Right, okay, so look at that. That's what it looks like. There, it comes out at this much. It looks like it might be a little bit thick. Let's have a look. So, yeah, that's it. So there, look, look at that. So that comes off more like a rub. You know, you've seen them in the shop, these rubs, that type of thing. So I've just dropped a bit of my precious rub on the countertop there. So with that being said, what I'm going to do, let me just have a little taste of this. Right, I'm gonna add just a little bit more lemon juice in there. I'm gonna eyeball it. It's about a tablespoon. And just a little bit more. Um, well, there's not much in there, is there? Maple syrup. So that's that. But other than that, it's very tastes very nice. 
it does the accent of the flavor is the suya spice so that's what i wanted right so there you go guys so that is how i've made today's chicken marinade okay so i hope you've enjoyed the demonstration if you have done please do feel free to hit the like to share comment if you've got any questions feel free to ask me i don't mind and well, whatever you do guys smile be happy and um be kind be kind to yourself be kind to others take care god bless Mwah.